Good morning, Monoma. I'm fly fishing here in Bahrain. I'm on the north end of the island. It's uh, 0530, so right at sunrise, and I'm getting a little time in the water before I head into work. I found a makeshift pier that I've used as a, a platform to get uh, a little clear of the rock so my fly line doesn't get quite as tangled. And my third cast in, I've managed to hook up. fish are all spikes. All those along the top, all those along the, uh, the sides there. Also have a mouthful of razor sharp teeth, so I'll get this. Now away she goes. guys but they're still aggressive you see all those buddies down there saying man what do you got look at Tell when the needlefish are hitting it. Look at that, can you see them? Needlefish will get their mouth on it, but there's not enough mouth to get a hook in. Usually if you hit, catch a needlefish, it's because he swiped and missed. Especially these little baby ones. There's a queenfish down there somewhere. I like the speed. That's a better hit. There we go. It's good fish. A little bit, ah, about average. So these queen fish I'm playing with are little babies. Um, you know, probably averaging a little over a half pound. But uh, the big ones are out there. We're hoping they show up. Um, not going to get them here from the shoreline, but not a lot of boat opportunity. Ah! Well, you win some, you lose some. I can't believe the salt water already chewed the eye off of that fly.
you got to have a high back cast here. See what I mean about the fish traps? The tires are being bundled together and uh, hauled out. There'll be a panga comes in here and we'll haul these out and they're putting them on the bottom for structure. They're trying to improve the marine environment that they have decimated with their uh, land reclamation. I always like to throw a couple of casts right there in the mouth of the trap for just that reason. Not a giant one, but another nice, typical Again, when these things grow up, which I don't know they get as much chance to do here in Bahrain, um, you need to go after them with uh, 10 weights and 12 weights, um, which is what they do down in uh, UAE. again. I think maybe it's quite as fast to retrieve and maybe with a smaller than the last one. But they are scrappy little guys. And you'll find you get a lot of these uh, hooked side of the mouth because they're swipers. They come in and they make a swiping strike. And they don't necessarily inhale the fly. You notice I'm not handling this fish a lot. And I'm not afraid of it, but I will say this. They, uh, and you can see already, my olive bucktail on top is getting a little thin and my white is almost gone already. Two fish in and my fly is starting to show the wear and tear. We'll put that red and white synthetic on in a little bit. Good hit. Probably another look. Not a good hit. So three strikes on one retrieve. Be even more, I uh, go a little lighter rod, but you'd have a hard time casting these uh, heavier flies. So what you can see, see how he's all flared out there. Huh. Way you go, buddy, and gone. Love when they self-release. So my olive is literally almost gone. We'll see if this fish makes it to four, or fly makes it to four fish. It's hard not to trout set on these. A lot of my, a lot of the time on the retrieve. Uh oh, we're going to get a retrieve without a fish. Perhaps they don't like the mildly dressed fly that we have now. Look at that, they're all hanging out in the fish trap catching the bait as it's going in.
These are my favorite conditions. Uh, mild wind. Uh, right high tide is uh, just rolled. So I love uh, high tide at sunrise. Fish the back sides of the falling tide. Find it gets more fish moving around. And I think that pod has moved. I don't know. Like it got a little peck out there. Oh, there's a chaser. So it might seem like, man, this fishing is awesome. I have gone months without catching a fish here through the heat of the summer. Uh, what changed here is the uh, we're mid September and the water temperature is finally below 95 degrees and that's that's not a error we've been seeing water temps as high as 98 degrees and especially in the shallows here um, there's just not much that can take that kind of heat so now that we're we've seen bait all summer not in the numbers like we're seeing right now but there we go, getting a little pecking. Come on, come on, crush it, crush it, crush it. Might be needlefish out there messing with me. I thought that a couple of times. And come back with no fly. Possibly a barracuda. But anyway, uh, so catching multiple fish like this has been long awaited. This feels like a needlefish. No, I'm just getting the side action. He's a little queen. When they flare and put you, show you their sides. But uh, we're obviously messing with the babies down there now. But these guys tend to be the worst because of those, see those two fins on the bottom that keeps flaring out at me? Those have got a, a toxin in them. So when you get poked, you know it for a while. But you have to set quick because they're a slashing take and if you aren't set to strip set you got to pull back on the rod because uh, they're gone they're just slashing at your fly let's try this side of the fish trap So I think these fish move around in little in schools and uh, what I love about the fly rod, I don't need to complete a retrieve to get the fly back out there. If I get a hit, pick it up, recast. Um, when they're not here, uh, I do use a spinning rod to cover the water and find fish. Simply because, I said I've gone months here. Oh, there we go. So I'm right on the edge of that, so I need a little bit more line. Because they're not hitting. I'm not almost nailing that thing as soon as it hits the water. Let's try it.
do need to get myself a proper stripping basket. I've been avoiding mentioning that because I know I need a proper stripping basket. But I was getting by with this one. You know, homemade from work. And I don't have a Home Depot here. So I found the bus. The, little plastic box and uh, I use clear glue sticks because they're clear they're, they're flexible they're soft um, not tapered but they were working except here in the heat they broke off so I've got two of my remaining fingers in my stripping basket so I'll uh, Get all the good folks at TFO and get myself a mangrove stripping basket so I don't have to uh, deal with those tangles like I have been. I mean, this should be deeper and a whole lot of things, but I'm still not dropping my, uh, my fly on the rocks here, so... It has been kind of cool seeing what's around here in the environment. I've seen, uh, I don't want to catch, I've caught these uh, fish traps a few times. Perhaps this fly just isn't uh, bright enough for them. One thing I've uh, discovered, fishing in extremes, so I was talking earlier about water temperature, so the water's been warm, but uh, the air temperature, oh, it typically doesn't get a lot above 120 Fahrenheit, but what you may find even with 120, that's a heavier fish, he's not, yeah, I don't think he realizes he's hooked yet. Um, Woohoo! Let's not bust this one off. There we go. Live action! Um, it's the humidity. So yesterday it was only 103. Uh, but the humidity was... Uh, 77 percent and today we're expecting 103 again with the humidity can you see those spots down there something about queenfish they got those great dark spots down their side um maybe this is just cooked on the side now it's a nice fish nice -er fish i want to use my terms carefully because i know why anybody in australia watches this and they go those are babies mate trying to avoid getting stung yesterday so now you can't see the spots on them and they fade and they come and they go but uh, nice little about maybe 14 inch um, Bahrain queenfish on my uh, TFO impact rod here so uh, back in you go now you can see the spots showing up oh no so and away she goes. 
So maybe this light is bright enough for him. I was just not being patient enough. I went almost five minutes without a bite there, so. Shows I go months without cooking a fish, and then I get impatient when I go five minutes without a bite. Anyway, back to the weather. So that uh, humidity gives you a heat index in the 130s. So that's the feels like, because you sweat. But your sweat doesn't evaporate and so you just get wet and uh, it's pretty miserable um, Iraq was better in the sense that uh, that you didn't have the humidity I mean it might got hot it might have gotten hotter but it was not this just crushing humidity that we get here in the Gulf you can't drink enough water um, I've had days where you drink two and a half liters of water and you don't have to pee because you're just sweating it all out. So, found the one. Really nice to find like a three or four pound model, but I think they just, uh, Stay in the deeper water, which is beyond the horizon from where I am now. Um, the water, for as far as you can see the horizon, doesn't get much more than about 20 feet deep. Uh, pretty shallow, which means it gets really, really, really hot. Yeah, I just scared the crap out of that needlefish. There's a needlefish bumping it. So it makes for tough fishing conditions. So between every fishing method known to man, short of dynamite, out, out offshore they troll, hand line, jug fish, you name it, if it can catch a fish, they employ the method here. Um, and it shows. Uh, down in UAE where they have uh, some more restrictions, they've been a little bit more environmentally conscious, uh, that's where you find uh, 20 pound queen fish and big uh, golden and spotted trevally. Um, you know, I've caught spotted trevally here, all of about eight inches long. It's just, uh, it, everything goes to the market. You can go to the fish market here, and uh, you saw that small queen fish I just released uh, two fish ago or fish ago. Uh, that would make it to the market. Um, if there was somebody here local watching me and watching me throw these fish back, they would just be stunned. Uh, and I've kept one of those uh, bigger size queen fish, took it home and uh, cooked it. It was delicious. Uh, and it's, this sport started out as uh, sustenance. We just get to recreate now, but uh, I do like to eat a fish once in a while that I caught. And the queen fish aren't bad eating fish. I'll let this one sink and just see what we get down. Sometimes if I let this sink closer to the bottom, I get into the uh, black spotted snapper. But hopefully the fish show back up here. We may have to shift down the shoreline here and see if we can find some more fish. in the hammer. They like the fast one this morning, so let's see if we can give them some speed. Get one, one fish for the road. Notice the littler ones. Like the speed. So that's what we got here. We got some baby, baby queenies. He's in the water.
must have been on the other side of the island and uh, you guys missed hearing call to prayer so it's a mosque right there there we go I got him back let's see if I can convince him to bite there we go all right he's not big but I'm leaving him biting and I'm leaving on the last cast so easy little buddy you got to pin him from the side like I said, those things will get you. They got him on the top too. And he just got me there. And just like that, we're off and running. So, all right. Well, I'm going to uh, sign it off from here in Bahrain until the uh, next time. Hopefully, it's a fall full of fish and uh, we get some more of these videos, maybe with some bigger fish.